Hello everyone, I'm Jenny from Shawnee State Park and today I'd like to share with you another one of my most wonderfully favorite trees and that is the American hazelnut. I'm sure you can see behind me right now the hazelnuts that are on this shrub. About five years ago I took a hazelnut, a single hazelnut, and I shoved it into the ground with my heel right here and now I've got this giant shrub. It is absolutely loaded with nuts this year and I'm going to be harvesting these nuts today and then storing them for years to come. This is a close-up look of the hazelnuts themselves. You can see that each nut has turned brown. They're harvest. You harvest them after they turn brown like this and they look like they have a little beak but that there's a whole nother variety of hazelnuts called beaked hazelnuts that are very rare, but these are just the original American hazelnut. Another name for this nut is called a filbert, and one of the stories that goes along with that is it looks like it's got a full beard, which kind of sounds like filbert, full beard. But you can take these hazelnuts off the tree, pop them right out. There's a little nut, beautiful little guy and then tap it really lightly with a hammer and it, the nut pops right open. You can eat hazelnuts raw or you can roast them. Either way, they're delicious. To identify the hazelnut, you can look at the leaves. The leaves are single leaves on one little petiole and they are doubly serrated. You can see they have double teeth. They have a vein that goes down the center of the leaf and then multiple veins that run side by side parallel to each other almost on the opposite sides of the mid vein. They turn a wonderful color in the fall as you can see reds, yellows, oranges. Now in the spring we harvested some of these great twigs right here. This is the shrub underneath. These twigs can be cut down to the ground with some pruners and be made into wonderful little wattle fences that you can put around your flower beds or around one of your favorite crops that you think the bunnies or turtles might get into. And those are beautiful little fences. Here's an example of the wattle fence that my children and I built this spring. You can see there's ground cherries growing in this little fairy garden. Ground cherries are actually wild edibles too. Give it a shake, oh, and the hazelnuts will fall. Ah, Clear? Gotta get a basket. You got it? Got Good it. job. Oh, you got some? Good job. I catch So here's the beautiful hazelnut shrub behind me the day after harvest. You can see its branches are uplifted. We left a lot of nuts on the tree for the squirrels to eat and the other wildlife. But all in all, we got about 50 pounds of nuts from one tiny shrub. I hope this video has inspired you to try hazelnuts if you haven't before, or even take it a step further and plant a hazelnut in your backyard. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful full fall day.